a three-page document, um, and let's take a look at it right here. One, two, three, home, about us, and contact us. Each three of these pages, they all have a unique uh, background treatment. Um, so right now, let's talk about what needs to be pinned and how that works. So I'm going to come here to the home page, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview this so that we can see exactly what's going on. Okay, it's coming up. All right, and by design, I made it so that the um, this particular page is very deep. It's about this image right here, this purple image, is about 5,000 pixels, which means that as I scroll down, you know, in order to get to the bottom of the actual frame, you have to keep going and going and going and going. And as you can see, nothing is pinned. So let's talk about how things need to be pinned and how the, um, the accordion widget needs to be pinned as well. So let's come back into our working, into our Muse file. Let's go over to the A master. We'll go there first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and I think you, you pretty much understand that. We're going to take the menu and bring that up to the upper right-hand corner, not of the page, but of the whole browser. All right, because we want that to be pinned to the browser edge. So we tuck it up there, and we're going to click the upper right-hand pin option right here. Then let's say, for example, if we have a graphic that we also want to pin up there, we'll just take that and bring it up there, all right, to the very corner, all right? And then we're going to make sure that it, too, is pinned in the upper left-hand corner like that, all right? So again, not to the page, but to the browser edge. Now what we're going to do is go to the home page, all right? And then we're going to take the widget itself. Now, as you see, as I'm, I didn't quite get it right to the edge. So let me make sure I get it to the edge of the browser edge, because this orange thing is not at the edge. So let me go back to the to master and make sure that that is on the edge. And as you can see, it's not. So let me just pull this over. All right, take this and just bring it over to the edge. All right, so that's good. Now, come back to the home page and let's see what happens. Okay, that's in the edge. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pin this to the edge. Oops, not that. We're going to bring the actual widget over to the edge, right underneath this little orange thing. And we're going to also pin it to the upper left-hand corner, just like that. And another thing we're going to do with this widget is we're going to click, if you notice, um, we're going to click here and we're going to make sure we say close or can close all. So in other words, that once you tap on it, it will, it'll close. All right. So right here, now it's closed. So let's take a look at it live and see what's going on. So I'm pushing out live so that we can actually take a look at it in the browser. And as we're in the browser, we can see that this item here, the, uh, the navigation is pinned. All right, that's good. We can see that that's pinned also. We can see that the uh, accordion is pinned because watch what happens when we start to scroll. When we start scrolling, as you can see, none of the navigation moves, the, uh, the actual accordion doesn't move, and neither does that orange graphic. So in other words, as we... This is exactly what we need to have happen, all right? And then as far as the stacking order is concerned, I would recommend that you would put your navigation on its own layer and then, um, yeah, make sure your navigation is on its own layer because if, you know, when you're scrolling, you're gonna make sure, in this case, you can see it's wrong because the purple is going over the navigation. We don't want that to happen. So that should be on its own layer so that the purple or the actual content would go underneath it. All right, so uh, hopefully that helps. Any other questions?